G'day Jaffa Adventures, Terry King here. Welcome to the channel. You wanna see me turn this, good size hole, <laughs> it is, into this, the weld areas that we've done, and this. Stick around. All right, we got Akeem Shorty here. And Akeem, what are you doing here, buddy? Oh, just cutting some cancer out of the old girl. What do we got there? That's a bit of cancer there, right? Good size hole. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and there's more, is there? Yeah, there's more on the opposite side. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's a decent size hole. It's yeah. in the same spot as the one on the other side, yeah. though, isn't it? There's one there, too. Oh, yeah, it's sort bubbling of, through the yeah, paint. Yeah. Yep. Sills are good, though. They haven't taken a whack. You know, no. sometimes you see them all yeah, busted stoved. to bits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the um, cancer repair. What else are we doing, mate? Anything? Just respraying the gray. Yep. And put a new pinstripe on. A new pinstripe. Right. Yep. 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 That's a bit cool. ratty. Uh, we got a, oh, yeah, we got a pull, decent yep. sized dent, dent here. Yep. We're gonna have to try and pull that dent. Yep. Well, we got our work cut out in front of us. See if it's any better than Jacob's car. We'll throw a little <laughs> shot of Jacob's <laughs> face when he sees oh. a hole I've cut in the floor of his car. <laughs> I reckon I could read that dent. What did it look like, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to beep that out. <laughs> That's what we're dealing with at the moment. And to get a size perspective, there's my hand. We got a lot of work to do, but that's okay. We roll with these things. Okay, so I think we're gonna, can we pull these off? Yep. Yep. And we can pull the rear pull flares off, off yep. as well. Okay, so let's start there. And I'll do a little bit of gold mining with a pick and see how far we got to go All with right. the cutting disc. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not as bad as Jacob's got to get a win somewhere. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just taking the flares off. Just leave that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing here, Miles, is I'm trying to find the extent of our cancer. And it's not that bad. On this, <laughs> on this front edge here, we've got a seam, so there's actually two pieces. That's the sill, and that's the A pillar. Oh, that's it looks like ah, the A pillar like looks okay, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll probably chop it up the A pillar, and I'll probably take it back to about there. That looks like good metal. So what we've got to do is we've got to cut enough out of it to get to good metal so that when we weld the bit in, um, we don't have any issues. Yeah, them. exactly. So we're going in with just a flat. This one is going to have to come around the corner a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I think the other side does as well. But um, for the most part, it's going to be flat. This has got a slight curvature to it, but we'll be able to match that. No worries. Is there any other body work on this side of the car? No, that's straight. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, once you guys get the flares off yep. of that side, uh, you can get that caramel wheel and you can pull off the... Yep. Pull off that stripe. So is this to try and like assess the dent? Yeah, um, I've got a dent puller, um, so we'll try and we'll try and pull that dent with the dent puller. But to do that, you got to get back to bare metal. And now I'll clean this up and see, see what we're dealing with there. That's all Bondo. Bondo. Yeah. It had some in the um, rear quarters when it got chopped too. Did it? Yeah. 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 That's all Bondo. This sill is uh, welded over top of oh. the A pillar. Oh. oh, that's the A pillar there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is part of the A pillar, a part of the front of the oh, car. So okay. it looks like that sill slides. Yeah, and I see probably, what you mean. They yep. probably go along and spot, spot weld that. Weld the whole thing in. Yeah, but like you said, the sills don't actually look like they've been hit. No, the sills are in brilliant shape. The fellow that redid Miles' car, we went to look at it, he said, yeah, you'll bog over the top. They use it on Lamborghinis all the yeah. time. <laughs> Lamborghinis! <laughs> like, you know, Ferrari Lamborghinis. Yeah, he's like, you know, the Lamborghinis. They he's trying to tell me that's the way to do it. Right? Top of that sill's all gone. And the top of that's gone. That's okay, that little dog leg. Yeah. Okay. That's cactus. That's a bit godlike, holy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to chop that out of there as well. It's almost, yeah, like the whole, that's separated now completely. Yeah, exactly. So I think what's happened is 
rust is, or water's got in here and rusted here, and then it sat. And that's probably how that, that yeah. hole's come exactly. through as well. Yeah, could very well be. But I think Akeem's onto something. I think it's come dripping down the drain and into there. Yeah. That's all I can do on this side until the boys pull that off. Yep. So let's get over to the other side and have a look. It's exactly the same thing. On it's pretty close, mate. Yeah, just a slightly different position, but almost identical. Yeah, it's funny how when you, when it rusts, you get to see, you can kind of see how it's come together. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. I'm wondering whether we go ahead and actually cut that part of the A pillar out and weld an entire piece in there. And the reason I'm saying that is if I overlap it, there's always the possibility of something getting between that butt or the, that overlap. Whereas when you butt it, you can't there's get no shit over, between. There's over, no overlap for shit to stay. stay. But there's very small patch panels we're going to have to make. Yeah. Okay. So would you say at this stage, it is better than Jacob's? <laughs> at this stage, I would make it all, yeah. You know what? The, the, in the total holage is probably the same. Yeah. But uh, Jacob's was going to bitch at the location. <laughs> you had to be a contortionist to uh, get in there. Yeah. Whereas at least this one's in your face. Where are we going to um, grind down on the body so we've got a good earth for when we're welding? That's above it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. Right there. You just surpassed Jacob Hakeem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were calling Johnson. Yeah. Well, Shorty's got a couple of years on the 80, so. Uh, That's only fair. I don't know whether I got the skills to fabricate a patch panel yeah. for that, mate. That's, I would suggest getting a cut. Yeah. I can certainly put a cut in there. Yeah. Let's go over to the other side, the good side, and have a look yeah. at what it's meant to look like. I might be able to fabricate something, mate. There's two pieces here. There's this flat. And then there's this curve that's going to push me to the edge in terms of what I can do. It'd be so much nicer if we had cuts, though. Mm, I could try yeah. and get some cuts. Yeah. That's the other thing. Uh, can you buy aftermarket, like from Portola Parts nah. or something? Do they sell panels? Nah. No. Because that panel would be the exact same thing on the long wheelbase GQs, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like we're trying to find, um, you know, yeah. something that's super rocking yeah. shit rare. Yeah. Yeah, if I found another GQ at a wreckers, I can just yeah, just yeah, chop that chop bit that out. out. Yeah, let's just park that for a second. For a second, and we'll deal with this first. Yeah, yeah. that's going to take a little bit more mental gymnastics. Yeah. Jacob, you could get that caramel wheel, and you could yeah. um, take these stripes off. Yeah. Do you want me to drop the earths off the batteries? Yeah, yeah, yeah we will yeah. be doing some right. welding. So, yep, pull the yeah. earths off. And I think what I will do next is get the cutting disc. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so why you Oh mate, I know, I know. <laughs> the Have you got a safety guard on your angle grinder? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next question, it's please. please. <laughs> it's my finger, yeah. <laughs> that stops the disc. Yeah. <laughs> why do you take that off? Uh, you take the earth off the battery uh, terminal so when you're welding because Welding is just running yeah. current through your car, basically. And if your batteries are hooked up, you I know burn alternators out and shit like that. Yep. Wall of shame piece. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you. That is a bit warm. I'll put that there for a minute. Just out of curiosity, Terry, yeah, mate. what metal are you putting in my, oh. my, my nice Nissan? Well, mate, I, I've got some 200 series metal, which uh, we'll seriously consider. Yeah. I've also got some 57 Chevy metal as oh, well. I'd prefer that. <laughs> I don't know about putting Chevy metal in a Ford, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah well, I don't know what'll happen there, mate. There'll be this constant fight. Yeah, it's screwed. It's like it's a Nissan getting Toyota metal or a Ford getting Chevy, <laughs> Chevy metal. Yeah. It's not a good option either no. way. So I'll go back here and we'll see what we've got to do here. I think I'm gonna do the same there, Miles. I think I'm gonna... Patch panel. Because I don't want to overlap that again. I'll probably take that cut right to that seam when I do the patch panel. This is good metal now. That's yep. good. The bottom is good. So we'll just go out to there. That's all fine. That's just surface rust that we've ground down. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, yes. could you scooch me that flat blade that's over on your side? That's the one. Thank you. Oh. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So is this the B pillar? Then? Yep, this is the B pillar. Shorties only have two A and B. <laughs> is there actually a C pillar in 
Uh, yeah, the CDs. Yeah. When I was doing mats, carried an A pillar, a B pillar, a C pillar, and a D pillar. So I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a multiple stage repair, this one. We're going to have to cut that out, repair that, and we'll have to cut that out, put a patch panel in there, and then yeah, a flat one here, and then that one. I could go in one, but you don't want to bite off more than you can chew because then you got to do compound curves and manipulation exactly and all that sort of shit. We'll keep it simple. Chop, repair, chop a little bit of that end off, weld it onto the end here, chop that flat out, weld it in there, and then take care of that. Just join those two dots. Lovely. Oh, well, at least you can get to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would have sucked. <laughs> oh. Your car's got another rattle now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Have fun. <laughs> Which way was it? One well, that way. That's it. Now we know which way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, man. <laughs> are we, are we, are we, are we? Do you want a rag? <laughs> Just wait for it to Which cool one? down. <laughs> Does it well to, I guess, the sill part still, this, this area? Yeah, so what, what happened originally, thank you, was this sill went underneath. Wait, hey. <laughs> you want that back? <laughs> <laughs> this sill ran underneath here, yeah. a distance. On the top side here, it's probably, well, there's a spot weld there, there's a spot weld there, so it's probably ended about here. See all these spot welds here? Yeah ran all the way back. So this piece of the sill, where it spot welded here and here is, is gone. It's rotted out completely. So rather than put that sill back underneath of there, we'll weld that piece in there so that this now is done. Then I'll chop this back to good metal and we'll weld another piece in there. We'll butt weld it, we won't lap weld it. Because as soon as you got that lap weld, if you can't get any sort of rust preventative in between those two, or in between that lap, it's just a, yeah. So what's the difference between a butt weld and a... A butt yeah. weld is, is that? Yeah, yeah. And a lap, lap, yeah, yeah, lap yeah. is that. Yeah. So as yeah. soon as you got a lap, yeah. there's, a ro there's room for water to sit. Yeah. And, you know, it slowly starts to bloody rot away. Yeah. Watch sure. pull that little trim clip out as well. Right out. Yeah, that'll end up melting when yeah. we weld it. That's probably just going to become dust. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, we're close, but we're not quite there. That's just a bit of a guidelines for when I take the metal off, I know that what I've taken off. So I reckon I'll need about half the width of that line off. So I'll grind it down so that I can still see my pen mark or my pencil mark. If, I, if, I, if it disappears, I know I've gone too far. Do you have that vice grips, mate? Yeah. Well, yeah. Now we're thinking. It's only taken this long. <laughs> <laughs> Progress update on this side. So yeah, we've sanded all the grey back. So we're, this morning we had the caramel wheel on and we took the pinstripe off. There's a red pinstripe. Red pinstripe. Run all the way down. And then we've just had the sander and we've just sanded all the grey back here. Yep. On the outside and then on the inside as well. Whoop. That top yep. edge. On that top edge. Just got to get the rust repairs, which is just that spot there on this side. Yep, for now. And then. For now. And if we whip around to the other side, Progress update, we got... Progress update here, mate, is we put a patch panel there, one here, big bugger right here, uh, welded up a hole here, and a big patch panel there. Beautiful. Who would have thought the curves out of a 79 series tub would match up exactly. almost perfectly to a GQ? Yep, those curves there have just been freaking perfect on the sill. So who copied who? Um, well, the shorty came first. The shorty so, did come yeah, first, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, Nissan so. did it first, you know. I can't hate on 70 series too much because, you know, <laughs> they've obviously taken the styling notes of the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, taking some pointers. They have. And now that you do have a bit of 79 in the car, then, you know, any hatred just gets thrown back in your face. You know? <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> like you're hating on yourself. Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> what were all those things you used to say about 70 series? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So what yeah. I will get you to do, Hakeem, is I'll get you to grind that patch panel down. I will migrate to the other side and yep. start. Same thing. Same yep. sort of thing on the other side. We're still going to pull this dint out. We'll do that later on. Yeah, yep. we will. Yeah, I can't work on that Not while you're grinding. grinding. That. Yep. And maybe Jacob, when. Uh, I'll start sanding. Sanding? Yeah. Yep. I don't know whether you'll be able to sand when Akeem's doing yep. that, but if you can't, then you can get oh. these done. And... You know, start up this end, Jacob, and I'll go yep. down that end. Sounds good. Me in the middle. You! <laughs> 
uh, doing the sanding on the passenger side now. So we've uh, yeah, sanded up this part of the sill. We just got this little bit here, and then the inside of the door just on top of the uh, on top of the sill there. So we'll yeah. do that, and then you guys will prep the other side, mask it up, and then there's just a little dip here that we're going to pull out while we're here. So yep, sounds good, mate. I sounds good. Be... And what we're going to do on this side is we're going to wipe that whole panel down with some thinners. Then we're going to tape it, and we're going to spray some, on some high build primer. We do have to bog the weld areas that we've done. Just to but get I'm, it nice and flat. Yeah, yep. you get it nice and flat. But I want to put the high build primer down first because if we run out of time today, yep. at least all the bare metal's yep. primed. Because yep. I'd hate like hell for you to be driving home with, with bare metal yep. and you go through a freaking rain shower yeah, on the Gold yeah, Coast, yeah. you know, which yep. bloody happens more often and than then, not. Then half an hour later, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we're replacing new panels. <laughs> yeah, that's some more bits. Exactly. But as it sits, the sills are rust free. Yep, exactly. Yep, 100% yep, rust free. Yep. We will still drill a couple of holes in the sills at the end of this job so that it came so we can spray some fish oil in the back of our welds here and, and prep it properly and that is taken a whack and obviously that's all rotted out so Hakeem's gonna go and see if he can find a cut and if we can get a cut we'll replace that entire section so we'll leave that for the time being it's gonna be easy to try and cut that piece off another GQ well let's clean that panel up with a bit yep. of thinners and we'll mask it up hey. oh hey how good <laughs> Doing a bit of dent removal in the door. Yep, just using a little spot welder with a slide hammer on it. To pull out this little dent. And we got the most of it. Clean that tip. Yes. Oh, it's just like a welder with a slide hammer on the end of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just a spot welder, basically. So in the olden days, you drill a hole in the panel and you pull the panel out with a screw in the panel, but uh, or or you've got this um, little ones that spot weld little studs on it and you pull on studs. And you got a big dirty hole in your panel. Yeah, and then you got a big dirty hole in your panel. Exactly. We're trying to get rid of the holes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't need more holes. I'm pretty happy with that. There's, it's, it's a little low spot, but it's nowhere near as bad as it's it was It's not stoved before. in. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Like, I reckon a millimeter of bog would fill that in. Not much in the, grand, in the grand scheme of things. And that one there, which yep. was stoved in, it had a big crease that ran along there. That one's almost flush. Jacob has done an absolute mint job of standing it up. Yeah. Front to back. He has. It looks good. Yep. It looks good. There's that little patch panel under there. And grinded all that down and then that one back there that's been all sanded and grinded down yeah this one was a little bit of work there yeah. was multiple panel yeah. patch yeah. panels in that little yeah. puppy and on the surface that one didn't look anywhere near as bad as the rest of them exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly and that on the surface it was just a little bubble and then and it yeah. started poking around and it just fell to pieces yep we basically pulled everything out from there to there from that from that back Flare, I guess almost yeah. almost from that back flare forward. Forward, yep. And then some on the top and yep. some on the B pillar. Yep. Yeah. There's only two pillars in a shorty. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because yeah. then there would be more places for cancer to blow. <laughs> yeah, in. that's right. Well, we'll wipe that down with some thinners. We'll tape that up with the plastic sheet. And we'll spray some bond, some primer down. Sweet. All right. A bit of primer. Yeah, buddy. Side. Now I got a full white shorty. <laughs> yeah. That looks sick. You like the light on it? That oh yeah. Get a bit of a... Number two. When you spray with the um, two-pack sprayer, be sure you use a mask, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Miles has so got good. the mask on. <laughs> That'll help you. Okay. That's like when you're sanding as well, hey? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but no, once it's dry, you can sand it and it's not toxic. But okay. this is full of isocyanates, which uh, it's basically... Um, they smell great. Cyanides. <laughs> yeah, they smell great. Yeah, but they kill you. How long does it take to go off? Probably 10, 15 minutes. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Not like hours. No. <laughs> okay, we'll go over to the other side and we will hit it a second time. Mm. And then we'll hit this side a second time and that's it. Yep. We'll be done. Got the shorty. And the 40. 
Have you ever worn a mask wearing a toupee? Uh, <laughs> Maybe once. <laughs> yeah, I have, but not for little jobs. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not worried about it today. <laughs> See, that's almost packed off already. Yeah, right. Yep. Done? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we're sanding. <laughs> yes. We haven't got to the finesse part yet. Mm. <laughs> the game looks a bit too clean. <laughs> and of course we still gotta dip bog up all of these uh yeah. panels that we yeah. welded in. So but at least all the bare metals covered with something now. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Use what we've got left with a paintbrush and just do, do the, the inside the top yep. of the doors yep. with a brush. Yep. <laughs> we have this much left. <laughs> nice, perfect. <laughs> Nearly forgot the uh, cap. This is the cap that was on the shorty. It's got a bit of a ding a in it. Buckle. That's a new one. A little bit straighter. <laughs> Very straight. <laughs> Very straight. So we've just got high build primer. Yeah. High build primer with a little paintbrush, and we're just putting it on the um, the bits that we've uh, repaired. Help seal it up. The key will be good for at least uh, maybe another year or two. Well, the warranty will go to the end of the driveway. That's yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long driveway. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that we are priming this now is because it's getting late in the day, and Hakeem lives about what, an hour away, hour and 15 away, something yeah, like that. I mean, and he's got to drive the car home. So we just don't want to have bare metal around when he's driving the car home. Uh, we still have to do all the Bondo work, which we will start to do tomorrow. From there, we'll sand him all back, sand him flat, put a guide coat on it, sand the guide coat off and make sure everything looks hunky-dory and then we'll spray some color. But I'm pretty happy with the way the repairs went. Yeah. They all sort of fell into place reasonably easily, which was good to see. They we put in, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six patch panels and the crease in the door. And the crease in the door, yeah. <laughs> Darth Vader <laughs> with a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. He's got to have hobbies too. Yeah, well, I wonder what he did in his free time. Huh? <laughs> Following morning, Hakeem is back and we are into bog mode now. So what we're going to do is scuff up our repairs with 60 grit so that we've got the bog something to bite into and then we'll bog it up. Starting to lay the bog down on a couple of the small weld patches we've put in. It's laying down pretty nicely. It's how we slow work this stuff. That one there is pretty much done. We'll be able to put some high build primer over top of that one. That needs a bit of a sand down. And Hakeem is working on the opposite side. Well, we've done all our body work. Hakeem is taping her all up now. And we're getting ready to shoot another shot of high build primer. And she's looking pretty good. The sill areas that we replaced are all filled in nicely. Nice flat. Yeah, we had that dent in the door, which we pulled out a little bit and we filled that. So we'll hit her with some high build primer. I'll put a guide coat down over top of that and that'll be it for the day because we just won't have time to get some, uh, sand that back and get some color on it, which sucks because that means we've got to untape it and retape it all again. Minimal sanding and bogging now. Yeah, exactly. Well, Hopefully. No, shouldn't be any more bogging. Hakeem's raging on my left-handed scissors. Yeah, he's a rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Did you chew that off? <laughs> it would have been a neater cut if I had it. It's so flat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Looks good. We'll throw another coat down over top of this. Sand this one down. I'll no, I'll put another wet coat over it. Coat over yeah, it. yep. This should be the last of the primer. When we sand this, we'll be um, shooting color over top of it next. All right, let's go over to the other side. Yeah, that door looks nice and flat. You know that big gouge that was in it? The crease that was in it. Yeah, I can't see it anymore. Can you? My eyes aren't that good, but no. <laughs> Even underneath looks really good. Sweet. So we got to do the inside of the doors and we got to do one more coat on the outside. I think what I'll do is I'll let the outside flash off. We'll do the outside second coat before I open the door and do the insides. All right, we're back here for the final day and this is day three. What I'm doing now is sanding off this guide coat so that we've got a completely flat panel. So I've got 400 grit paper and a long block 
and I'm not sure whether the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but in here, for example, you can see where the primer is dimpled and the guide coat is filled in on the low spots. Now if I take my sanding block, sand that back, you can see all those low spots are now gone because you can't see any more dimples. And it's shifted here now to the area that I haven't sanded. So we'll continue to do that for that entire panel. Make that completely flat. And we're getting pretty bloody close to shooting some color. Now the entire panel is both sides are all sanded back with 400 grit and Hakeem's got the interior of the car masked up. And we're just going to mask up now the exterior of the car. I got a small sample of the pinstripe so that I've got an idea of how wide it's going to be and that'll allow me to determine where exactly that tape is going to sit along here so that the paint or pinstripe covers up all of the crap. Something like this. All right, that is now taped up and that'll allow us to run the sheet from that yellow line northwards. Just like that. Don't want any brown overspray over that nice white bonnet, Akeem? No, no, I'd like to keep the white Fair call. Okay, we're ready to shoot some color, I think, Akeem. We've got it all wax and greased. We've got everything taped up and prepped up. I think we're as close as we're going to be. So we've got uh, 463, which is a, a Nissan color, I guess, which was the original Nissan color, yeah. The A-line, you mix this stuff just twos to one with some thinners. 300 mil. This is a 2K base clear. The base coat is sort of single stage, which means you don't put any hardener in it. Just good to go, you just thin it. Then the clear coat is two pack clear where you put hardener. Like the primer. Yep, exactly like the primer, exactly. Very, very fine metallic in this stuff. It looks shiny from here. Mm. We got our gun with a 1.2 mil tip in it. We got our filter to filter, filter out any lumpy bits. Yeah, you can see a few, a couple of little lumpy bits there on the side. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. It's real so, fine, like yeah. fleck, hey, like you. Get ourselves lid. All right, we'll adjust our air pressure. I'm shooting for about 24 PSI for the base coat. I'm gonna do three coats of base. 24 PSI. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the interior and we'll... All the interior. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the inside bits, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> and that's it. We'll just leave that. We'll let that flash off. Yep. How uh, does it take to flash? Five minutes. Oh, yeah, no. yep. yep. And we'll go over and we'll do the other side. Could you grab those two lights for me, Hakeem? Bring them over. Important safety message from Terry. Yeah. Always wear your mask. Always wear your mask. This is bad stuff. Time for the outside. Time for the outside, yep. Inside's all flashed off. Yep, she's all do good. <laughs> Done. All right, we'll let that flash off. And then we'll throw our next coat down. Okay, we're ready to shoot some clear. And for that, we want 29 PSI, which is about there. Put your mask on this time. Mask this time, mate. <laughs> clear coat's got some really nasty shit in it. I don't want to die. No. Nah. Okay, so the plan with the clear coat is we will shoot two coats of clear in total. We'll shoot the inside of the door, the door jams and everything on both sides of the car. We'll let it flash for about 15 minutes. We'll hit it with its second coat, and then that'll be it for the inside of the jams. We'll then close the doors partially, not all the way, and um, I'll do the outside of the doors. Clear takes a lot longer to flash off than the base coat does. Yeah, the gray, I was pretty happy with how that came down. Laid down really well. It really did. That's it. Clear done on that side. That's it. Now we'll go over to the other side. The idea behind the clear coat is you put your first coat down really light and what you're trying to do is create something that the clear coat can stick to, yeah. like sticky tape almost, yeah. the yeah. backside of sticky tape. All right, we're finished our clear coat. I'm pretty happy with that finished product. I don't know whether it's going to show up on the camera or not, but it's laid down beautiful and flat. It looks super shiny through the lens. Yeah. <laughs> like a mirror. Yeah. 
and uh, so far no March flies going for a little stroll in the backyard. We'll let that flash off, I came, and then once that's flashed, we'll start pulling the blankets off. Yep. But if we pull them off beforehand, yep. um, it could disturb some dust yep. and you know, dust will fly yep. in there and bloody all sorts of nastiness. Yep. Well, if you can hear from my froggy voice, it's the following morning and we couldn't finish the job yesterday. And the reason for that was it started to hose down with rain. The paint dry process slowed right down, which meant we couldn't close the doors. The reason we couldn't close the doors was we didn't want these door seals to be rubbing up against wet paint in the sills. The reason we needed the doors closed was so that we could finish putting that pinstripe down on the outside. And to line the pinstripe up perfectly from the quarter panel on the rear and the quarter panel on the front and that door, you need that door closed. Hakeem lives about an hour away from me, two hours round trip, so I sent him home in my cruiser. We left this car here overnight so that the paint would cure properly, which it now has done. He's on his way back over here. We'll finish putting those pinstripes on the car and should be good to go. Excellent, we'll put a little cut there, fold that pinstripe around the corner of the door there. And that one is down. There's actually two pinstripes on here. I don't know whether the camera can pick it, but there's a second one that I put over top of this one, which is lighter in color. I think I hear a 200 series Land Cruiser coming. This is what Hakeem has just brought me. I don't know whether you've ever had crack and rum before, but Hakeem got me onto this stuff and it is sweet. It's, really good. <laughs> it's good shit. <laughs> so thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Oops. I dropped a razor blade somewhere. <laughs> well, tell me about your driving experience, right? Luxury! Very luxury. <laughs> it was not that something that didn't have like steering wheel play. <laughs> like to be able to turn a corner it actually It actually goes where you point it, yeah, kind yeah, of a thing. Not, not three rotations and then it starts to move. That was nice. Uh, that's funny, mate. Looks good from here. We got it. Yeah. <laughs>